Hey everybody, today let's take a look at Nala, which is a, an alternative front end for apt that is prettier. So let's log into this Mint system. I will have the article that I used for this video down in the show description so check that out this is my first time going through this so i thought it would be interesting so we're going to open up a terminal make that a little larger okay so one of the things that nala will do is run parallel downloads you can be downloading up to 16 packages per unique mirror in your sources.list. So theoretically, it'll be faster than using standard apt. Uh, also, it will fetch the fastest mirror. And it works very similar to something like DNF on a Red Hat type distribution. So let's type in the first command. Okay, so far so good. Let's go to the next command. Okay. And then if all else worked, we should be able to install Nala. And so far so good. All right, so once this finishes up, we will take a look at what Nala looks like. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen. All right, so we're going to say sudo Nala update. And as you can see, it's doing what, what uh, apt would normally do. It's just formatted a little differently. And one could make the argument that it's prettier. I'm not sure it's necessarily any faster yet, but I would uh, have to test it on multiple systems running from the same Proxmox server to sort of establish a benchmark against um, a standard apt operation. I do think that this formatting looks pretty slick and it does bring this in line with yum and DNF and some of the other package managers that are out there even if this is just a front end to apt uh, I I think this adds a little spit polish to the overall experience so what do all of you out in the audience think is it worth installing something like this it does not replace apt it just gives you an alternative an option uh, a choice and one of the mantras in the linux community is choice is good so what do you think let me know down in the comments i'm interested to hear whether this is something that you would use uh, if this is something you would just use on a personal system versus a production system in an organization, I myself would probably not use this in a production setting. Uh, but, you know, in two years' time, that may change. You know, if if uh, I do a little more research on this and find out that this project has existed for longer than, than I know of, then my opinion might change on this. So uh, I guess my, my question to all of you is, were you aware of Nala? Uh, are you already using it? Or is this something you would consider using going forward? Let me know down in the comments.
and we'll let this wrap up here and then we'll wrap up the video. Okay, as you can see, we've reached the end of the update. One last thing I wanted to show off about Nala before we go is the command Nala history. And this gives you a history of the transactions that you have performed with the Nala command. So obviously right now this doesn't have much in it, but as you do additional updates, it will give you more information. I'm gonna make the text smaller, but make the window bigger. And I'll run that again just to see if we can get the full list here. And it does list the commands out for you. So that is something that people might find useful compared to the standard apt utility. And that, my friends, will bring us to the end of another video. Again, please take down to the comments and let me know what you think about this particular uh, overlay of the apt command. And let me know how you are using it or how you might use it or where you might use it. I think this would be kind of an interesting experiment. And if you got something out of this, please hit that like button and subscribe, pass the word on, share the video. All of this helps me with the YouTube algorithm and it helps me bring out additional content. All right, thank you all for watching and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.